Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video with San Diego Comic Con just around the corner, I thought that it would be really interesting for me to put forward my top 5 most anticipated Transformers Studio Series reveals that I personally believe will be shown at San Diego Comic Con this coming weekend. For those unfamiliar about what San Diego Comic Con may entail for the Transformers brand, this is basically an event where Hasbro can showcase some of their already released and upcoming Transformers merchandise. Usually it's very similar to Toy Fair in the sense that they will actually show some of the products that they have coming out for the next following 6 months. Just to give the fans an idea of what to expect. Personally, I do think that we will get some big reveals as part of the Studio Series list. Personally, in this particular video, I won't be discussing the Studio Series Devastator, as we already know that some of those final four Constructicons are already coming, so they are not necessarily figures that I'm anticipating. For this particular list, I have listed approximately five figures that I think have a strong chance of being shown off at this weekend, just due to the simple fact that these particular figures are in need of an upgrade and have been rumoured for some time now. So without further ado, let's get into the number top 5 of what I believe will be shown at this weekend San Diego Comic Con. Taking the 5th spot on this list, I definitely believe that we are going to be seeing the Transformers Studios series Voyager Class Soundwave, based on his appearance from the Bumblebee movie. Now not only has this particular figure been rumoured ever since Optimus Prime was shown way back in January, but this particular figure is also one that I think would be very sensible for Hasbro to release due to the fact that this is an already well-known established character within the Transformers fandom and the Generation 1-esque design that he obtained in Bumblebee really sat well with many fans. This particular design has probably been one of the most iconic looking Transformers ever to brace the silver screen and I really think that if this particular figure was released it would definitely amplify Hasbro's sales significantly just based on the reaction that the Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie got as well. This particular figure would be a great entry into the studio series as it would be delving into the characters that didn't necessarily have a lot of screen time but definitely made a lasting impression with fans due to their very G1, very updated looking style. This particular figure would of course have to be scaled within the Voyager class assortment as on Cybertron when Soundwave does deploy Ravage, we do roughly see that he is about the same size as Optimus Prime so it wouldn't necessarily make sense if this particular figure was a deluxe class. In terms of its alternate form, Hasbro really have creative license with this as Soundwave never transformed in the Bumblebee film However, just taking inspiration from the mythology, they could perhaps have Soundwave transform into a cassette or do something very similar with like they did with the Siege Soundwave and actually have him transform into a kind of alien spaceship. Either of the fact, I don't necessarily mind, just as long as the robot mode is very faithful to what we see on screen. Taking the fourth spot on my list is going to Transformers Age of Extinction Hound. The reasoning behind why I believe this particular character will be shown at this year's SDCC is because Hound is one of those characters that is in need of a desperate update due to the fact that whilst his original Voyager class figure was enjoyable, it wasn't very accurate to the film and we've already been proven by the last night Voyager Hound that they have really upped their game with their Voyager class figures and I definitely think that if they revisited this particular character, they could really make a very accurate faithful representation of how Hound appeared in Age of Extinction. Of course, this figure would probably have to be a brand new mold as opposed to pieces such as the head due to the fact that in Age of Extinction, Hound did spawn an Oshkosh tactical defense vehicle as opposed to the Mercedes that he obtained in The Last Night. This particular character, I believe, deserves an updated treatment as he was probably one of the most enjoyable characters to come out of the Age of Extinction movie and is one of my favorite Transformers characters from any of the live action movies. The only thing I really hope this particular figure that they lacked upon with the original Last Night release is the fact that he didn't have a lot of weapons, something which the original Age of Extinction Voyage actually did. So if they do go back and revisit this particular character, which I do believe they will, they need to merge the Last Night design as well as Age of Extinction in order to give us the ultimate setup for Hound. This particular character I do believe will also appear as we are already getting the Age of Extinction drift. So they are actually delving into the Autobots from Age of Extinction. So Hound is really and truly the next most obvious character to approach as he really did resonate very well with a lot of fans. Taking the third spot on this particular list goes to Transformers Bumblebee Blitzwing. Once again, this is a figure that I definitely think will be shown at SDCC this year, as Blitzwing was one of the more noticeable characters to come out of the Bumblebee movie due to his epic fight with Bumblebee towards the first act of the film. Blitzwing would be, of course be an obvious choice as his design is very reminiscent of the Generation 1 Starscream 
And not only would Hasbro be able to actually create Starscream if they were just to retweak the Blitzwing mold, but they would also be able to create various other Seekers, making this particular mold extremely profitable to them. So that is a reason why I definitely believe this particular figure will be shown. I also think this particular figure will be shown as the Bumblebee movie came out almost seven months ago now. So enough time has passed for them to really delve into the Bumblebee movie characters. And considering that we've only really got Bumblebee, Optimus, Shatter and Dropkick, it is definitely time for them to reintroduce a brand new villain so that we can begin to expand our Bumblebee movie collection as although there was only four main characters in that Bumblebee movie there was definitely a lot of easter eggs based on Cybertron allowing for loads of opportunities for Hasbro to create figures on them. <laughs> Taking the second spot goes to the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Soundwave. Personally, I think that this is a figure that we may actually even get over the Bumblebee movie Soundwave, just due to the fact that this is the 10th anniversary of the Revenge of the Fallen movie, and lately it really does seem as if though Hasbro is pumping out a lot of the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen characters, especially when you take into account that we've got Jetfire, we've got Optimus Prime, Starscream, Megatron, and all of the constructor cons that will eventually be coming out, it really does make you think that perhaps they would want to delve into more Revenge of the Fallen characters, and I definitely think that Soundwave is the next viable option, as Megatron and Starscream and Devastator have already been ticked off the list. This particular figure would be amazing, and of course would have to be a Voyager scale, as in Revenge of the Fallen, Soundwave did disguise himself as an alien-like satellite, so this particular character would definitely be a lot larger than if it was a deluxe class counterpart. This particular figure would of course transform into a satellite and then mainly into a robot, similarly to how the original ROTF Deluxe figure did it, which I personally believe was a really good figure. So if they could just take some design cues from that and give it a more regenerated, more refreshed and updated look, whilst definitely increasing the size, I think this particular figure could be really well done. Personally, I don't think that we'll see two sound waves shown at SDCC. Of course, anything is possible, but personally, I think that if we are going to get either of the other sound waves, I think the Revenge of the Fallen version may be the obvious option to go for, just due to the fact that it is the 10th anniversary of Revenge of the Fallen. However, the Bumblebee movie sound wave is definitely going to be a hit with fans, so it really is a 50 50 chance. Now a figure that takes the first spot due to the simple fact that I'm pretty much 100% certain will be shown is a Transformers Movie 1 leader class Megatron that includes a small minifigure Frenzy, similarly to how the Dark of the Moon figure included Igor. The reasoning behind why I believe this particular figure will definitely be shown at San Diego Comic Con this year is due to the fact that there has been multiple listings and rumours of this particular figure for the last upcoming months now. Not only that, but the movie masterpiece Megatron that was supposed to come out in September has actually been brought forward to June of 2019 allowing this particular figure to come out straight after that release so that fans instantly buy the movie masterpiece version the more expensive version and then find themselves having to buy the leader class version to go along with their studio series collection this particular figure is inevitable due to the fact that we have all of the original trilogy movie Megatrons besides this particular character we also have all of the original 2007 cast besides this particular Megatron figure and of course Hasbro are not going to lose out on creating a leader class Megatron. Personally, I do believe that it will share very similar design cues that the movie Masterpiece figure did and that was an amazing figure. Be sure to check out my review, I will include a link above for you to go straight to that particular video. The only thing that I think this particular figure may lack on is accessories and perhaps playability as the movie Masterpiece figure came with the mace and the removable chest that you could in fact insert the allspark in as well as his cannon. Personally, I do believe that the Studio Series version would just be Megatron on his own with an additional Frenzy accessory, which I personally would be fine with, as in the movie, Megatron didn't really use all of his weapons that much, so just having the primary figure would definitely be a really good option. So that is my top 5 list on my most anticipated Transformers Studio Series reveals as a part of this year's SDCC. Personally, I do believe that the majority of this particular list will be in fact shown at SDCC this year just due to rumours and various listings online. 
I of course do wish that we saw other characters such as perhaps the Fallen or some of the Wreckers. However, I'm just being realistic and I don't necessarily think that those particular characters are on Hasbro's agenda as of now. They are primarily focusing on the core team and whilst the Fallen would be amazing, I definitely think that he would be part of a leader class assortment so it would probably come out towards the middle of next year if we're lucky. I definitely think that the movie one Megatron is practically confirmed so be sure to let me know whether or not you believe that figure will also come out as well and be sure to let me know what figures you wish to see at SDCC and what figures you definitely think will be revealed. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and until my next video I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.